Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. Got a brand new trailer for you guys today. Yes, we do. So we got an official trailer for Star Wars Andor, Disney Plus original. More Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Rogue One uh, events prior, those characters coming back. Uh, more missions, side stuff, getting the plans. And you know what? Yeah. Even though I'm a fan of the Jedis and the Sith Lords, there's nothing like getting a new story. Those are facts. Uh, it's just cool, man, that to get an extended universe of storytelling with the uh, Disney Plus streaming service, man. I just think it's great that we're getting stuff outside of the movies that the movies were not able to fulfill. You ain't lying about that. Yeah, extended universe, hey, weekly episodes, eight-hour movies, all right, cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, where we're standing right here, there's only only one way, and that's up. Yeah. Those are facts. Because you can't really go no no further down. So this is the way. You can be like, okay, <laughs> all right. What you got? Which yeah. way is up? Yeah. Richard Pryor. Seriously. Let's take a look at it. Let's go ask him. What's going on over there? To steal from the Empire? You just walk in like you belong. They're so proud of themselves. So fat and satisfied. Okay. They can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. Cassian Ander. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're starting not to notice. What I'm asking is this. Wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? I need all the heroes I can get. For the greater good. Call it what you will. Let's call it Nice. Mark Guerrero. There's fermenting out there, son. Of fermenting. You're in my net. Are you a I'm fish? Like or are you a thief? You're slipping. <laughs> I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long. As long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation. There's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? This is what revolution looks like. I'm tired of losing. Why y'all do me like that? Hmm. Three episodes. I'm tired. Hey. <laughs> uh, you want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead. First impression. First thing that came to my mind. This show will not be for the typical viewer. Nah, they taking this on another level. This is going to break down the whole war. Yeah. And it's going to be, I, this is more of a political one. This feels like Clone Wars to me. Yeah. This feels like Clone Wars. That's where I'm at. It's going to be a slow burn, but nothing like roasting a roast. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be cooked slow. You can't cook it fast. So I'm, 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 a, I'm very appreciative of this trailer for letting me know what we're getting. Because now my expectations are at a different level. I expect to gain knowledge watching this show. And I'm with that. All right, man. Uh, I'll say for the like the main part, just like seeing the trailer towards the end, it's just mostly we're getting actual Star Wars mm -hmm. again in this series. And then uh, the war side of it, the politics of it, uh, we're also seeing uh, what happened and what led to uh, those plans and why all this is happening. So we're getting an aftermath of that story pretty much in a sense. And then uh, I think they maybe they'll cross over and touch bases with the Rebel series because a lot of those characters from that series are yeah. showing up here. 
So I think it's just going to be like show and tell, maybe a little bit in between and far after. Mm -hmm. So I think we might see characters from that series pop up in this, and then that's going to move stuff forward because this feels like it's in the past. Yeah, I think yeah. it's before Rogue One. Yeah, this is this is before Rogue One. Okay, so yeah. then that's even better then. Yeah, yeah, yeah but uh, I, I think this is a cool place to start, man. Because again, you we don't have time to explore this stuff in the movies. Yeah, and that's what's good about these shows because it's just filling in the gaps. Yeah, uh, it's making the timeline feel more complete to a degree. Yeah, getting those uh, answers in that series because it's always like, all right, you give a little information, but we never really actually saw what happened. Now we get to see what actually happened. I just hope the episodes are long enough and not not too many episodes. Get us in, break down the story, and get us out. So, like, they said, like, three parts here. So, like, a three-hour movie, in a sense. Well, it said, yeah, three episodes premiere. That's okay. just three episodes. I think, gotcha. I think it's going to be more okay. like six episodes. Gotcha. Kind of like okay. Obi-Wan was. Okay, so I, I misunderstood that. So, I'm thinking, like, oh, it's three, and then we end it out. Well, okay, yeah. that's cool. So, three off the back when it drops. Yeah. Got it. Get you right in. Boom. Do you like it or not? That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And I think they did that because the first episode, second episode is going to be slow. And they want to make sure they speed it up for the audience because no one wants to wait for us. Basically put it like this. If episode one is slow, you're going to be like, okay, whatever. Episode two, check oh, out. I, I forgot. Yeah. Episode episode two, and be like, oh, man. Then but like, if you follow these shows, you you know the get down. It, it always filler in the beginning. Yeah. And it gets good midway. That's that's kind of how they've been doing it. They never really changed it. But this is really like new characters to a degree. Mm -hmm. We saw a couple familiar faces, but that's about it. True. So yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm definitely down for this one. I, I want to see how this one ro rolls out. Uh, less less action, more political. That's always something good yeah. to find out the different sides. And we're meeting new characters. That's one thing that I like about Star Wars. There's so many characters to learn from and know, especially with them. You know, transitioning the canon from old school books and then cartoons and, and re, we're basically getting the canon the lore right now yeah. so i just like to see the way it plays out i'm with it i'm down yeah i'm ready to watch it man uh, it's always it's always cool to get new star wars content man it's just uh a matter of how we accept it man as long as you give it your all you know i'm there for it man yeah uh september looks like a promising month uh we got cobra kai d23 now this so winning we there. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed the love for film and television shows. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and push that subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Yes. My name is J3. I'm running the show guy. Woo! The Ninja Assassin. 100,000 subscribers. We on our way, y'all.